Yo, what's up with it, guys? Your boy, man. Had a heart attack. For years, man, I had a problem with uh, edema in my feet and ankles. And, you know, I was younger. I didn't think much of it or whatever. But, you know, uh, people used to tell me that's a sign of heart failure or whatever I, you know of course <clears throat> being a tough ass you ignore people saying that like man I ain't got no heart problems or nothing like that so I went to the dentist on oh, that Wednesday went to the dentist uh, and I didn't go all the way under but I got anesthesia or whatever uh, so I got a, uh, what you call it? I got the, uh, implant screw put in, got a deep, deep clean, and what else? Oh, and a little tooth pulled. So I go home, was fine, took some meds, and, uh, oh yeah, that was the same day, huh? Did I went to the dentist? No, you went to the dentist, and then the, the same. next day. Oh, the next day, the okay. Sun. Yeah, but has nothing to do with it. Yeah. And so, next day I came home, took a Viking in, I think, and chilled out, and went to bed, and I got suddenly woke up uh, uh, by chest pains. And it felt like heartburn. I had heartburn before in my life. So it felt like heartburn. So I went in and rushed in the kitchen and got some, uh, whatever I could for heartburn. So it wouldn't subside, man, for like two hours. And uh, my girl, you know, she was trying to figure out what was going on as well. And after like two hours, she was like, I got to take you to the hospital. And, you know, I didn't uh, object. So we came to the hospital. They ran a test. And, I mean, they were swift, man. They were like, we got to get you into surgery. Your uh, main, like, main artery or something it's clogged up. The left artery that supplies blood to your left side of the heart has been clogged 100%. It was 100%? Yes. Uh, so, yeah. So, it was clogged. So, like I say, since a kid, I always had a problem with edema in my feet. Kind of ignored it. Got some physicals, and they would whisper some possible medical problems. You know, uh, but I would ignore it. And uh, no family history. I don't think my mom or uh, father had heart issues or whatever. So, uh, like I say, so when I was a kid, I had migraines real, real bad. Uh, when I became an adult, I would get the swelling of the feet bad, especially when I was doing bodybuilding shows, taking diuretics and stuff. Uh, yeah, man, it's definitely, you know, I've always been concerned, so I don't want to say it's a wake-up call. Me and my girl been concerned for quite a few years, you know. Uh, the feet swelling would simmer down, but it always was there. Like, I'm used to my feet when I was young or whatever, you could see the balls moving in it. And mine just had a layer of puffiness. Uh, a few years back, I got a physical. They was mentioning something about, you know, the heart or whatever. I ignored it. So, uh, yeah. It just, uh, I don't even want to say a wake-up call because I had many of those in my life. But uh, it was just sudden. You know what I mean? Uh I was always conscious of my body and what's going on with it, what I'm putting in it, which was uh, next to nothing. 
I had simmered down on my caffeine and all that bodybuilding supplement stuff uh, was like almost non-existent in my life. So, uh, yeah, man, it, it's, you know, uh, it didn't get too scary because I did have to go under. I was awake for the, they put a stent in my uh, heart or whatever where it was some blockage. Uh, so I was woke. But I didn't feel nothing. Uh, so that was a good thing that I was woke. You know what I mean? Because I didn't, you know, have the fear of being put under and dying while I was under or whatever. So, yeah, man, health is everything, man. And, you know, just this was an ongoing problem I ignored for at least 15 years. At least because I would go get physicals and they would mention little stuff. I mean, uh, doctors just what buddy? They don't know what they talked about. So yeah, man, uh, I got the stint put in. Uh, they say I should be out of here in a day or so. And as you guys know, I haven't been like, you know, busting my balls in the gym, trying to be the strongest or the buffest no more. I just wanted a nice physique. So I wasn't taking a huge amount of stuff, just like my subs or whatever, maybe 200 milligrams of caffeine, uh, which didn't matter because they giving me caffeine to here. <laughs> so caffeine wasn't the issue. Uh, I just think it been an underlining problem since I was a teenager that just never got caught. So luckily, you know, and then uh, take me out. We was able to catch it at time. So yeah, man, that's where I'm at. Doctor said everything good. Uh, that was the only issue. Everything else looks amazing. Uh, you know, uh, make sure you guys take care of your health. That's what I've been talking to you about anyway. And you know, God using me as an example. Because as we just saw, you know, R.I.P. Shad Roden. Some people. Some people don't get a second chance, man. You know. I got my twins and I gotta live, man. Yeah, man, so that's it, man. Prayers out to everybody, man, and I'll keep y'all updated.